O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Psalm 139 verses 1 through 3. Have you ever been to the doctor? And the first thing you're told to do is undress and put on a flimsy little paper gown. After an uncomfortable wait, the doctor comes in and starts acting like a mechanic and you are the car. Lifting the hood and poking about the engine, wiggling belts and checking fluids. Ah, oh, it is so horrible. I always wondered, why are their hands always so cold? Maybe it's just me, but I actually feel disrespected when the nurse or the doctor doesn't seem to care about my modesty or my feelings, my emotions. The reality is that the medical providers don't often consider our modesty because they're taught not to judge what they see. They aren't judging your body as to its beauty or lack of. They're simply trying to diagnose what your body needs. It's our preoccupation to being judged that makes the experience uncomfortable and embarrassing. I wonder if that fear of being exposed and judged affects not only our doctor's visit, but our visits with God. We avoid speaking with him for fear of what he'd see in us and would he quickly reject us for not doing enough or not being good enough? And we always wonder, is he mad at me? Is he disappointed? We can't stand the thought that the one person we want to please most would so quickly reject us. But I need to tell you, that's not God, no. Sometimes the toughest judgments and the most critical spirit against us is ourselves. I've often wondered if the reason so many people judge others is because they themselves feel judged. We've listened for far too long to the lies and the accusations of the enemy, and we've forgotten that he's a liar and that he does not speak for God. This morning, I want to remind you that the critical voices you hear are not God's. He is gracious and merciful and will not turn his face from you. He doesn't want you to dwell on the past. He doesn't want you to dwell on what he's chosen to forget. Allow him to see you for who you are, not pretending, not masks. God is a good doctor, and he only sees the things that he wants to heal and the things he'll use to bring glory to his name. You are his child. He will never reject you. He will never abandon you. No matter what has happened in your past, no matter what you've gone through, God will not reject you. He will not abandon you. Good morning, everyone. It's a new day, and I want to take this moment to take some breaths with you. Ready? Let's go ahead and breathe in and exhale. It's been a rough week. Let's do it one more time. I don't know about you, but there are some times when I think about my own life, where I've been, what I've done, and it makes me believe that God would be distant from me. I mean, come on, who would want to be around someone that's done what I've done? God knows me pretty well, and there's no way he could ever love me, much less like me. But unfortunately, so many of us fall to that lie. The truth is that He's not creating distance from us. He's always coming towards us. And the thing that we most need right now is to understand that God isn't about judging us. He's into healing us. He wants to restore us, to redeem us, to bring us to a place where we have an intimate conversation, an intimate relationship with Him. What we need most isn't to feel judgment, but is to hear His voice, to follow closely, and to trust him as we go through our day. In just a moment, we're gonna to pray together, but I wanted to read to you the last part of the verse that we read at the beginning out of Psalm 139. This time we're gonna look at those last two verses, verses uh, 23 and 24. It says this, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. This morning as you start your day, I want you to focus in on all of the things that you want to hide from God 
And I want you to trust him. I want you to expose your heart to him and believe that he means good and that he's only going to heal and he's only going to help. Would you pray with me? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you know me better than I know myself. You know every aspect of my life and my heart. Thank you that through your son, Jesus Christ, I have forgiveness for my sins and redemption for my soul. Please help me not to listen to those critical voices that seek to bring me harm. Watch over me and know me as only you can and give me peace. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being my God, for being so kind and so compassionate. And thank you for being the first voice in my day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is going to be a good day. God bless you in it. And we'll see you tomorrow.